Hello and welcome uh, to this uh, app demonstration today. Uh, so today we'll be demonstrating uh, how the progressive web app uh, basically works. So what we'll be doing is we have actually opened the live admin demo on our desktop screen. So what we'll be doing is we'll be taking our mobile device and we'll be scanning this particular QR code on the left hand side as you can see. And this would take us to the actual progressive web app for this particular website. So before we continue further and show you how the mobile device can be used for accessing the Progressive Web App for WooCommerce, uh, let me give you an overview of the particular features that this uh, Progressive Web App provides. So basically a Progressive Web App is just a simple website that looks and feels like a native mobile application. It is a lightweight app bundle. It can be added to home screen and the customers can directly access the web uh, site using the shortcut that they have added to their home screen and it also works uh, offline with ease and it's always updated and fresh so there's no need for you to update your application uh, uh, after a few uh, number of days so uh, it also improves the user experience altogether and uh, and much more so what you can do is if you need more information on this particular progressive web app uh, product you can uh, check our user guide for this particular product and to know more about the progressive web app for WooCommerce. So let's get ahead and let's see how this uh, progressive app app features are uh, visible at the front end on the mobile device itself. Now we have our mobile device in hand and in the background we have the uh, live demo application wherein uh, we have a QR code that needs to be scanned. Actually most of the browsers uh, have inbuilt kiosk, uh, QR code scanners and if you don't have one um, already there then you can make use of a QR code reader to read this particular QR code so I'll tap this QR code reader I'll scan this uh, QR code on the live demo and now this will redirect me to the actual progressive web app for this particular store or the website and here on the bottom we can see that we have an option to add the PWA to home screen we'll tap that up and we'll confirm it it in this particular pop-up that we can see right now so here we can tap the add button and this will start adding the progressive web app to your mobile home screen so uh, now we'll go ahead and now we'll show you how this uh, particular progressive web app can be accessed by a customer from his mobile home screen by just tapping the particular shortcut for the progressive web app so now I'll be showing you how the customer would be able to access the uh, progressive web app by just tapping the progressive web app icon on his home screen. So here we have this uh, progressive web app icon on the home screen. I'll tap that up and this brings this uh, splash screen with a foreground and a background color. And you can also see that uh, the uh, uh, website wants uh, us to uh, receive notifications. So for the timing, we'll uh, set this option as allow. And here we have the actual progressive web app right now. So uh, here you can find the uh, various categories on the top. Some popular products, new products. We have trending products. We also have featured products there. And a back to top bottom option. So as to reach to the top of the uh, progressive web app. So uh, now what I'll do is I'll just go through and I'll show you the uh, app functionality by uh, showing you how a customer would be able to log in and purchase the products within the progressive web app. So for that, I'll be opening the left hand drawer. And here on the left hand side, you can see uh, a number of categories have been listed. Uh, there are uh, preference options. There are other options as well. So I'll uh, be explaining them later in the video. So initially what we'll do is we'll sign in by tapping the sign in button on the top. Here, if you already have an account, you can directly log in to uh, your account. Otherwise, to create a new account, you can tap the create an account button and you can enter your email address and the password for the account and you can tap the register button to register then you can come back and enter your uh, credentials here and tap the login button to log in into the uh, progressive web app so we have logged into the progressive web app so i'll open the left hand drawer and i'll show you the categories first so we'll go to the clothing uh, category and here we can see the uh, products that are within this category to load more products we can tap the load more products button at the uh, at the bottom and uh, apart from that we can also sort uh, the uh, products according to the position that's low to high uh, the uh, popularity of the product the average rating similarly we can also uh, 
display our products in a list or in a grid. Right now they are displayed in a grid. We can tap the grid button to display the uh, products in a grid. So uh, now let's go to a product page. So let's go to this particular product here. So on the product page, you'll be able to see the different multiple images that are there for the, uh, the product itself. Apart from that, you can see the price, the reviews, uh, number of product, uh, the quantity of the product in stock, uh, its category, a bit of uh, description, then the quantity and the details of the product. Apart from that, you can also see the reviews, the total number of reviews and the ratings. You can also see the uh, different reviews that have been made by the customers. And uh, now I'll show you how we can proceed further and, uh, and purchase this product. And uh, I'll, uh, for that, I'll tap the Add to Cart button. And this is the product to the cart. Actually, there are already some products in the cart, so I'll remove them uh, for the time being. And I'll set this product only in the cart. So this is a simple product right now that I'm using, but uh, the uh, progressive web app for WooCommerce supports all of the uh, product types that are there within the WooCommerce uh, default system. So it supports all of the products. So uh, now what I'll do is within the cart, I can apply a coupon as well. So I already have one. So I'll just uh, apply that. I have flat 10, I'll apply the coupon. The coupon has been applied. I can see the details under the coupon here and uh, we can tap the proceed button to uh, make a purchase. Uh, if you are a fresh customer then you need to add your address first so as to bring up the shipping methods. So it's uh, the account that I am using right now is already registered so uh, the uh, shipping method has been displayed so I will just uh, select that and tap the proceed button. Now under the payments I will select the mode of uh, payment uh, for this particular order and I'll tap the proceed button and on the review order page I can check the number of items, uh, the price details for the particular product, the shipping tax discount and the payment method that I've selected and the order total and lastly I can tap the proceed button to uh, complete the purchase. So uh, that was how the uh, product can be purchased within the progressive web app. Now to check my orders I can open the left drawer once again and under the account section we have a number of options. Uh, that you already know like the dashboard orders downloads account details and the address book so under the dashboard the uh, customer can check the um, orders that he has placed or the recent orders that the customer has placed he can check the details of the order he can reorder a particular order uh, uh, which is complete and uh, the customer can also review uh, the uh, product so tapping the details brings up the details of the products as you can see here and uh, tapping the right review button brings up the section for the same. Here you can uh, give the ratings and the review for the uh, product, product and you can tap the submit review button and after the admin has uh, approved it, uh, the review would be visible on the product itself and apart from that uh, you can also reorder the products by tapping the reorder button and it adds the particular products into the cart as you can see and you can make a checkout thereafter. So that was uh, how the uh, how the progressive web app works and the options in the dashboard for the customer and uh, let me open the uh, left draw once again and under orders section we can see all the orders that have been placed under the download section we'll have all the uh, downloadable products with their validity uh, the time of validity how much for how much time they are valid and the number of downloads that are remaining for, uh, remaining for the particular downloadable product apart from that uh, on the uh, left draw we have account details wherein the customer would be able to update his contact information and can change his password as well and uh, lastly we have the address book wherein the customer can uh, edit his billing information and his uh, particular shipping address and can save it accordingly L last but not the least under the uh, other section we have a number of uh, links that we have provided so here the admin of the web store would be able to provide some of the external links uh, to the resources for example we have a privacy policy you can set up a link for that you can set the title for that and uh, after a customer taps the privacy policy he would be redirected to that particular resource uh, for which you have provided the uh, URL uh, within your backend as you can see right now we are on this uh, privacy policy uh, page and uh, this particular website is also a progressive web app as uh, you can see that we have this option add web cool to home screen so this particular website is also using the progressive web app uh, for Magento 2 because this is uh, uh, 
I, I think this is on WooCommerce as well. Sorry for that. So uh, that was the example for the other section. So uh, that was much about the progressive web app. And lastly, uh, the customer can tap the logout button at the bottom to log out of the uh, account there. And uh, similarly, he can come back and he can also scroll uh, through the various categories and the products that are there within the uh, progressive web app. So that was much about the progressive web app. Hope uh, this video helped you out. And uh, if you have any questions or queries, you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise it to get at webpool.uvs.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day.